Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So, I am super excited about today's Catch Up With Me video for several reasons, and we're just going to jump right on in. So, first on my list, as always, I can't wait to show you guys my planner spread for this week, and this is what it looks like. So, I'm loving the pictures that I have on here that represent St. Patrick's Day. So you'll be seeing a lot of those throughout this month because, you know, the whole month, in my opinion, is a green month. And so I don't have a lot written in here yet. As always, I have things to add in, but usually I just haven't had time to transfer it in here, but I will be doing that sometime uh, today. And so that's my planner spread. Next on my list, I wanted to... to oh! So next on my list, I wanted to share with you all, so I came up with all of my topics that I'm going to be doing, because as you know, this is the month of March, and I told you guys I'm going to be doing March Madness, so I'm super excited about the topics that I selected for March Madness, and so let me just share with you a few of the topics that I'm going to be sharing. So I'm going to be doing a video talking about getting out of your own way, um, Another video on what do you fear. Another one on let go, because some of y'all have some stuff you need to let go of. And another video called You Are Your Choices. So these are the March Madness topics for this for this, this year. And I'm really, really excited about them. And I think I'm excited because all the things that I just named are things that people are dealing with. Or have dealt with and said, wow, I wish, you know, I had somebody to have given me that advice when I was going through some things. So I'm super excited. So you all will see, you all will see the first video tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to be posting the March Madness videos on Tuesday. And I'll still be doing a vlog at the end of the week. So I'm excited about that. And what else do I have to share with you? Um... Oh, you know, I had the pleasure of sitting down working on some e-coaching mastermind packages. So I'm, I'm really excited about what I came up with. And if you know me, I always put pen to paper first. And then I will transfer this over into uh, cute paper with my letterhead and I mean my uh, logo and all that good stuff. So I'm super excited about the e-coaching uh, e mastermind that I'm going to be working on. Super excited about that. And I'll be sharing the first people that will hear about this will be the group that I'll be speaking to in Connecticut at the end of the month. So I'm excited about that. And, and I'm going to be sure to do some vlogging while I'm there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best because I have two tripods, so I'll make sure I have my camera set up so that you all can see me talking to this group. Because I think it'll be really great, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, that is that. So, like I said, I have my coaching, coaching packages up for the e-coaching mastermind on paper. And I just want to tweak them just a little bit, and then that'll be ready to go. And next on my list, because I don't have much to share, like I said. Oh, y'all, I've got to tell you this. So I got caught up watching the Bates Motel on Netflix. Y'all, I've been watching, I watch like <laughs> probably two or three episodes a night. So I am on season three, episode number two. And let me just tell y'all something. I see why Norman Bates is the way he is. His mother is, she is a nutcase coming and going I, I mean just an absolute nutcase but i am enjoying it so if you have netflix please i'm telling you, you haven't watched it be sure to check out the bates motel because i am absolutely loving it okay so i want to share that with you and let's see what else uh oh i have one other thing so you know i'm always going to go back to my vision book and this is what I'm going to be doing at the end of the month, talking about writing the vision. And so, y'all, I am always updating this vision book. And I'm trying to think, because I know I updated it last week. And I think what I put in there was my notes about the March Madness. And I want to say it was something else that I wrote in here. But anyway, I am always updating these, this book. And this is why I tell you guys... Um, 
always keep your vision book close because I'm telling you, I am always updating it. So I'm loving the, that I can do that. And see, I can't do that with a vision board because I just have too many visions that I'm having. So trying to do a vision board just really would not work for me. So that's why I love the vision book. And I think the last thing that I had on my list that I wanted to share with you guys is this. So, you all know that this is tax season, right? And so, with tax season comes a lot of identity theft. So, I just encourage you guys, as you uh, go about filing your income taxes, if you find that someone has claimed you or filed income taxes for you, uh, what you want to do, first and foremost, is contact the IRS, of course. But then you also want to contact the Federal Trade Commission, that's FTC.gov, and you can actually file a complaint online. Or the number, and I should know this number by heart, I think it's one eight seven seven id theft or something like that. But anyway, it's on the website. And you want to call and file a complaint about your identity theft. Now, while we are not able to you know, address individual complaints, the counselors there can give you the instructions and, and you know, information that you need to fix your problem. Um, like I said, we see a huge on-flux. In fact, we have two call centers, and they get extra employees at this time of the year because there is so much identity theft that happens that people typically don't find out about until tax season. So, I encourage you, if you have your W-2s, please go ahead and do your taxes early. Don't wait. And if you find that you have been a victim of identity theft, again, go to the FTC's website. And I'm saying F is in Frank, T is in Tom, C is in Cat. FederalTradeCommission.gov slash identity theft. You can file a complaint online or you can contact the call center and one of the counselors there will be more than happy to take your complaint by phone. I will not give you my work number because I don't want y'all calling me directly to file your complaint, but we do have people that do that. And so I hope that helps somebody. And if it doesn't help you, please be sure to pass it on. If you know someone that's been a victim of uh, ID theft, by the way, of tax fraud, but ID theft, period. And so that's all I have, you guys, this week. I didn't have much to share. And so I look forward to talking to you next week. For those of you that continue to support me each week, thank you so, so very much. I love you guys. And for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. And I look forward to sharing uh, the information that, that I have with you on various subjects. And I'm just glad to have you here. Oh, and one thing, one thing, one thing. I knew something else I was going to forget. I did a video, or I'm sorry, not a video, but a vlog yesterday, and I want you all to be sure that you check this vlog out, and I'm going to tell you what the name of it is. Okay, the name of this vlog is, it's called When You Need Clarity. When You Need Clarity. So, this vlog that I did, as a matter of fact, I was on my way to the nail salon getting my nails and stuff and toes done, and I decided to go ahead and do this quick vlog. And what it is, is it's a response that I gave to a good friend and teammate of mine uh, who's having, she's going through a rough time right now, having some issues. And I thought the response that I gave him was just, you know, just so profound that I wanted to share that with other people because I feel like other people need to hear that message. And essentially what the message was is that when you experience issues, over and over and over again. It may not necessarily be the same issue. It could be God's way of trying to talk to you. But you're so busy that you don't hear him. So I said to him, I said, look, when you go home, you know, don't turn on the TV. Sit down. Talk to God. You know, and, and if you don't if you don't worship God, whoever it is that you worship, uh, Buddha, Allah, it doesn't matter to me. Whoever that is, pray to that person, talk to them, tell them what's going on. Not that they don't already know, because God knows all. But, you know, talk to him, tell him what's going on in your life and say, Lord, I need you to get, get, um, to, to show me what it is that I'm doing wrong. What, what is it that you need from me? Because chances are, when you keep going through issues, God is trying to tell you, or he's, he's trying to teach you something, but you're not learning it. So he says, okay, well, he didn't get it the last time, or she didn't get it the last time, so let me let this happen, and maybe they'll get it.
Well, the second thing happens, nothing. So he says, well, let me try a different approach. So sometimes we just need to get still, get quiet, get clear about what it is that God needs for us to do, or in some cases, what he needs for us to stop doing. And the only way you're going to do that is if you get quiet, uh, spend some time, and don't just, did, did, y'all look, don't tell God what's going on in your life, because he already knows, and then think, okay, problem solved, you know, because he's not going to respond to you like that. Sometimes, it may be later in the day, it could be in the uh, late in the midnight hour, uh, it could be a week or two, it could be several months later, but you always have to have an ear to hear and a heart to be receptive for what it is he's trying to tell you. So, be sure to check out that video, and I'll link it in the description box so you can see it. And it's just a short three-minute or so vlog, like I said I did yesterday on my way to an appointment. So, just please be sure to check that out, and I hope that it helps someone. If it's not something, or if not a word that you need right now, please be sure to share it with someone else. So, again, that's all I have. Love you guys, and we'll talk again next week. Bye.